For some reason, I've been given that talent, you know? I didn't know how I was going to apply it. It's very humbling to be entrusted to be the final step in the new process. Because it's majorly traumatic, you know, what they go through. Found I had breast cancer by doing my own self-exam. Um, found a lump, uh, went to my doctor. She didn't think it was cancer, but she ordered a um, mammogram and an ultrasound. The mammogram came back clear. The ultrasound picked up something that was still questionable. So they did a biopsy, and the biopsy came back positive for breast cancer. The word cancer didn't stop me. As soon as he told me I had breast cancer, I said, OK. And he told me I'd have to have chemo and surgery. And I said, OK. And he said, you're going to lose your hair. And that's when I cried. But it was just a vanity thing, a feminine thing. Everybody deserves a good experience. They don't want to leave like, oh, that was horrible. I hated that. Because then they have the visuals to remind them. So my objective is to give these ladies the best experience ever. My regular oncologist and my plastic surgeon, we sat down and got it all figured out. And we decided, because I'm young, um, single mastectomy was the best option for me. You know, you've got one normal breast and one breast that looks like a Barbie boob. <laughs> so, <laughs> you you kind of want to balance yourself out if you can. I always say to them, you can bring your pre-op pictures um, if you wanted me to see how you were. Um, but for the most part, they're like, you do this for a living. You're the professional. Just give me a nice pair of nipples. Um, and that's, that's what I do. Shading is giving the illusion of, and I use the ink to form the softness of the nipple because I'm not just doing a circle of color. I'm doing a circle that tapers out to the skin tone, you know, so it looks like it's part of the skin. I was surprised at how much I did not feel because when you lose your breast, the muscle and the nerves are taken. So I just had skin and it was dull. I, I, I couldn't even feel her doing the tattoos until she got my scar tissue. I, w I was totally expecting it to be painful, but it wasn't. My objective is to give these ladies the best experience ever. And then by the time they leave, we've jibber-jabbered for, you know, like an hour, and they're laughing, and they're happy, because they've done it, and the cycle has ended, and now they can go on to their new normal. So it was, it was, um, I don't know if I want to say closure or a, a feeling of I've accomplished everything in the battle of cancer. I went through all the emotions up until here and now it's the survivor emotions and that was just a finishing touch to make me feel almost whole again.